What's up, everybody? My name is Shannon, and I am still waiting for my Seder. And today, we are talking about Daisy Jones in the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. So, of course, the reason I'm reading this book is because there is about to be a new show about it. But I really loved The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. So, like, this has been on my radar. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to read the book because, like, a tell-all about a band from the 70s isn't really, like, the kind of thing that I like to read. But two of my friends who also really love Taylor Jenkins Reid and Seven Husbands and all that kind of stuff, they read it and they absolutely adored it. So I decided to give it a shot. And I listened to the audiobook, which I highly recommend because it's a full cast. And since it's told interview style, it really does feel like you're listening to an interview from the band. And like, I feel like that Yelena meme from Black Widow, where it's like, well, don't say that. They were real to me. Of course, Daisy Jones and the Six is about a girl named Daisy Jones and a band named the Six. And this is kind of telling how they came together and made this explosive album called Aurora and ultimately how everything fell apart after that. It's really heavily inspired by Fleetwood Mac so knowing that like the relationships between the band members is really the crux of it here and I just loved it these characters there's something magical about the way that Taylor Jenkins read writes her characters like they feel so fleshed out they feel so real they they have so many flaws and like there's so many things that like you hate about daisy or you hate about billy or you hate about graham or things like that but at the same time like you're rooting for them and like you want them to succeed and it's like you want people to be together even though it's so toxic and you can so feel that and just the heartbreak feels so real. I have no idea how she does it. I don't know what she puts into these books but I was on the hook from the very beginning. When I got to the end of the book and like you learn a little bit more about like why this book is being written and like what you know the band is up to now and like things like that I just found myself like I just couldn't believe it. Like it, it's such an amazing story. And I immediately went to Spotify because they are actually for the show putting out the album Aurora. And like, you can already listen to Regret Me. You can already listen to Honeycomb. And like, I just immediately went and listened to those because it is just such like a tangible, such an auditory story. And to be able to actually physically hear those songs is it's just so insane and honestly like I feel like doing this as a show is really gonna be something special like watching how the actors are interacting and things like that I'm like yeah no that's my Daisy like that's my Billy and I just like if you can't tell like I am just completely in awe of this story I never would have thought I would be so in love with a contemporary story that's about the 70s it's about music in the 70s it's about like addiction and drugs and family and all of this. Like that is things like I'm not normally drawn to with my books, but the way these characters are built is so beautifully done. I want so much more from these characters. Like I want to know more about what happened to them as they went on. Like especially Karen. Oh my God, Karen's my absolute favorite character. I'm obsessed with her so much. But yeah, like I would give this book an A plus if you haven't read it yet. I highly, highly recommend that you do because it is just one that I think is going to stick with me forever. This was an absolutely outstanding read. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to the like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to Top Books with me every week. That's everything I got for today and I will see you guys next time. Bye.